Hello, Selena Files. Miss Melinda here from MissMelinda.com and Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com here to bring you the full moon reading for our upcoming full moon. It's going to be a full moon in Capricorn taking place on Monday, July 3rd at 6.40 a.m. United States Central Standard Time. I've already pulled some cards for us to offer some guidance for traversing the energies of this full moon. And the cards that I have are the Empress card, the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, a lot of threes here so far, and the Three of Wands, as I was saying, threes. Three is a lucky number, so already I'm seeing some patterns with the numbers and seeing that this will be a lucky and a fertile time from all of the Pentacles energy and the Luscious Cups energy combined as well as some of the other signs that I'm seeing, including the Empress, this will be a luscious time. This will be a fertile time. This will be a lucky time. What does that mean? It means that we have energy surrounding us and surrounding our lives that gives us ample room for creation. It means that we have inspiration available. We have ideas available. We're feeling fertile. We're, we're feeling abundant. We feel that we need, we have everything that we need in order to create new things in our lives. And this doesn't necessarily just apply to tangible things, although it could. This is more like creative energy, um, literally as well as uh, symbolically. So creating new projects, creating new ideas, new perceptions, new ways of doing things, but also more specifically, I see it being a very creative time for um, projects and endeavors. Um, projects and endeavors that are conceptual rather than practical. So literally speaking, creative things. Um, if you are an artist or if you're just somebody who wants to get more creative, I keep getting distracted because it's funny how my bun disappears. Um, so anyway, if you're an artist or if you're someone who wants to get more creative, more crafty, this will be a good time for you to really um, pump out some things. It doesn't have to be work. It doesn't have to be for profit. This is not necessarily about financial abundance or these kinds of, of prosperity. This is about feeling inspired, feeling energized feeling joyous about life and having a lot of energy, free-flowing energy, um, not necessarily in your mind, but more flowing through your body, making you want to move, making you want to create, making you want to do things with your hands, making you want to start things from fresh, making you want to um, bring new things into the world, beautify your world, beautify your life. So now getting down to the nuances of the cards that I have pulled, the Empress and the Page of Pentacles together, showing us more about this creative, fertile energy. So I do have to say it also may be a fertile time for money, um, but it doesn't just have to be about that, right? So also feeling nurturing towards um, your loved ones, feeling nurturing towards your home life, um, really wanting to uh, delve into that home atmosphere, um, making it more of a sanctuary, making it more of a nurturing, healing place, more of a beautiful creative space, um, as well as looking towards the future in a very measured, very patient kind of way, thinking not only about what is going to make your life more beautiful, more joyous, more pleasurable, um, more inspired right now, but what are the step-by-step -step actions that you can take that are going to help you with your long-term vision as you continue to move into the future? So seeing a lot of really nice balance around this Capricorn full moon in terms of 
what can I do now, but also what can I do that's building towards my future? And a lot of inspiration and a lot of um, creativity along those lines, a lot of thinking out of the box. So this could be a good time to have new ideas, new perceptions, um, new plans, um, creative ideas, creative plans, um, really um, new and uh, out of the ordinary ways that you may move into the future. So this could be a great time for problem solving in terms of how are you going to accomplish those future goals? How are you going to get where you want to go and so forth? Now, moving forward to the three of pentacles and the six of cups, I've got these paired here with the nine of pentacles. And I will say that this reading is very intuitive, just like all of my readings and what that means for me. One of the things that that means for me is that I don't have a set spread. I pulled these cards in an intuitive flow. This is the way that they came out. And then I use my intuition for how I pair the cards together. So these three cards, the three of pentacles, the six of cups, and the nine of pentacles, this tells me a few things. Around the time of this full moon at the beginning of July, July 3rd, and keep in mind that the full moon phase is not just one day, right? So a little bit before July 3rd, a little bit after the full moon phase, lasting a total of about three days. Um, so it's not just that one day that will be affected. Around this time, you are going to feel like, yes, you want to work. Yes, you want to get your hands dirty, so to speak. You want to be hands on. You want to get stuff done. You want to be involved, but not if you're just going to be a cog, um, not if you're just going to be a cog in the machinery. In other words, mindless work is going to start to really weigh on you if you are stuck in that at this time. Things that are not meaningful are really going to start to feel a Impressive to you around this time. So you're going to want to be instead spending that energy on things that are very meaningful for you and that are going to offer you the kinds of rewards that really enrich your life, really nourish you, um, bring you inner fulfillment as well as um, outer joy and outer beauty, just like we were talking about in the beginning. Um, it will be a good time to set those financial goals and to think about your finances and your money, but not necessarily to focus specifically on is, you know, is this thing going to equal the money or equal profit, but more, how can I be applying myself in a way that brings me joy and fulfillment and will also probably pay off for me in the long run in terms of aligning my life in a way that is um, meaningful to me, that is authentic to me, that is bringing me that joy and fulfillment. And those things are going to be what end up bringing those financial goals to fruition, specifically long term. So this is a really good time to realign, realign your values around your work ethic, realign your values around um, the rewards or the benefits that you expect or desire to get out of your work and realign your time and energy in ways that are really offering you pleasure and joy, knowing that that pleasure and joy, that fulfillment, that inspiration, that that avenue of energy is really what is going to allow you to gain the benefits that you're seeking. You're also going to be wanting to spend time with your friends, your loved ones. You're going to be wanting to have fun. You're going to be wanting to adorn yourself adorn your body if that's something that you're already inclined to this is going to be a time for physical expression for beauty for lushness and so again anything that feels dull um any work that has already been weighing you down any work that feels binding oppressive heavy it's going to get even worse for you around this time. So to be proactive, to take initiative, you may want to think now about 
how to get out of those situations and how to build more meaning around your work, whatever the word work means to you. This is not necessarily just about um, going to a nine to five job and bringing home a paycheck. This is also about all of the ways that you put in labor, time, the resources of energy and time and um, thought and emotion in your life. So moving on to our last two cards, we do have the three of cups as well as the three of rods. So lots of beautiful threes here, a nice uneven lucky number, a very lucky number in magic and metaphysics of all kinds across the board, cross-culturally. And so what I'm seeing here is really coming out of this full moon phase, feeling hopeful about the future, especially in terms of your community, how you can connect with those around you to achieve the things we've been talking about through this full reading. Um, what kinds of beautiful, lovely, reciprocal connections connections um, are you going to be having in your community and are you going to be seeing for yourself in the future? So the things that happen around this full moon have the strong potential to be offering you long-term beautiful results for community connections, community support, partnerships, networking, um, support, uh, friendship, these kinds of things. So pay attention to what you're, who you're spending your time on, what kinds of communities, what kinds of groups, um, what kinds of socializing and networking you're doing around this time, what kinds of collaborations you can hone in on. If there are some collaborations or things of that nature, partnerships that you've already been thinking about, then this would be a good full moon to start to focus on those and take some action towards those. And any kind Kind of intentional and positive action you take in that direction during this full moon has the very, very strong potential to pay off for you positively in the future, as well as to offer you new visions, new insights, new inspirations moving forward into your future. Okay, thanks so much and have a very blessed full moon. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do that. Much love, many blessings.